I'm Karen Knox, the director at the Orion Township Public Library, and welcome to another episode of Orion at Your Library. On today's episode, we're going to be looking more in depth into our Youth Services Department. First, we're going to look at some new services that we'll be offering as part of our Family Place program. And then, we'll be looking into our Battle of the Books for 2014. And finally, we'll be looking at some of the upcoming programs for our young patrons. All this and more coming up on this edition of Orion at Your Library. First up, we're going to listen to Debbie Fior talk to us a little bit more about the Family Place program that we're going to be starting here at the library. Hello, my name is Deborah Riefier and I'm head of the Youth Services here at the Orion Township Public Library. I am here to tell you about programs that we have coming up this winter that I think that all of you will be interested in. What I want to talk about is our new grant, the Family Place Libraries. We received this grant from the Institute of Science and Museum Libraries and uh, we were very happy to do so. We were one of 28 libraries in the nation to receive this grant. What this means is that you'll be seeing many changes in our department. We have new materials, we will be changing the floor layout, and we have new programs that I want to invite you to. Starting February 4th, we will be running a five-week workshop that will be called Family Place Workshops. At these workshops, we will have a specialist coming to each one to talk about um, different things that may interest you. Okay. February 4th is the very first week. That week, it will be about communications, and we will have a librarian going around to parents and children and just talking about what is available in the community. The second week, we'll be talking about um, speech and language. Uh, we will have a speech and language specialist just going around talking to the parents and any concerns that you may have. The third week, we'll have a specialist coming in talking about child development. If you have any concerns about how your child is developing, this would be a time to talk to that specialist. On week four, we will have a specialist coming in talking about child nutrition. If you have any concerns whether your child's eating too much, not eating enough, what your child should be eating, this specialist will be able to answer your questions. And week five, we will have a person coming in who can tell us all about the importance of music and play. Music and play is the way that your child is learning and they need to play and, and sing and run around so that they are ready for kindergarten and the specialist will be able to talk about any concerns you may have about that. At these workshops, um, you will be able to talk to the specialist, you'll be able to talk to the librarians, and we'll have stations set up. And I'd like to go over the stations that may interest you. So one of the stations is we'll have all kinds of books for you and your child to explore. Okay, and when children look at books, they learn language and vocabulary, how to interpret pictures, they learn to love books, they learn to express ideas. I will have special toys for gross motor equipment. I have purchased um, scooters and um, tunnels, and it's just a way for a child to play. We will also have transportation toys. I know every child loves to play with trains and cars and fire trucks, and this is one way that they can learn about their world around them. We'll also have a music station, okay? Well, they'll get to play music, little instruments, shakers, and listen to music, and children learn about creative expression when they're up playing with music. We'll have a whole station of infant toys, okay? They, um, they can shake and they can rattle and they can stack things. And this is when babies learn to use their small muscles. We'll have a whole block station. I know every child loves to play with blocks. We'll have wooden blocks, we'll have cardboard blocks. They'll be able to stack them up, they'll be able to knock them down. I know that will be the most popular station. We'll have an exploratory section. We'll have a person coming in and we'll have art supplies set up and you and your child will be able to play with Play-Doh and paint and just get messy and it should be a lot of fun. And the mess will stay at the library, not at your house. We'll also have a station for manipulatives. So you can put like little star toys together and you can play with puzzles and learn how to zip and learn how to tie. And this is where a child can learn to use their hand muscles and uh, perfect their um, eye-hand coordination. We'll also have an area of dramatic play. I have purchased a lot of costumes and hats and you and your child can just, you know, just pretend and um, 
This builds a vocabulary in how to communicate and they learn about their world. We'll have plenty and plenty of puzzles. They can dump the puzzle pieces. They can put the puzzle pieces together. They, they learn to sort items. They learn to problem solve. And last but not least, we'll have a table of parent resources and free handouts. So anyways, I really want to welcome you to the Family Place Workshops. We'll be doing a lot more programs under the umbrella of the uh, Family Place grant. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me or any other librarian. All of these programs are described on our website. Uh, please sign up. I do request that if you sign up for the play Family Place Workshops, please plan to attend all five workshops. They do build upon each other. Uh, I thank you and I welcome you and I look forward to seeing all of you. Hello, my name is Marge Keenan and I'm a librarian in the Youth Department at the Orient Township Public Library. I'm here today to invite you to the Orient Township Public Library's 13th Annual Preschool and Child Care Information Night. This event will be held on Tuesday, February the 11th from 4 to 7. The Preschool and Child Care Information Night is a wonderful opportunity to meet like Orient Area Preschool and Child Care Providers at one location at your local library. If you're looking for licensed providers of early childhood programs and or school age child care programs, the library is the place to be on February the 11th. The preschool and child care providers are dedicated to offering programs that provide opportunities for all children to learn and excel. The selection of preschools and child care facilities in the area only offer also offer many different options depending on your needs. For instance, some offer free Head Start programs, Christian-based programs, Montessori programs, diverse environments, Spanish language, and some offer year-round services. The preschools have a love of children and are committed to providing the highest quality preschool education possible. Many create a perfect balance between play and academics with the goal for the children to make friends, have fun, and at the same time prepare the children for the years ahead. Along with providing the information night, we also provide a Lake Orion Area Preschool and Child Care Directory. This printed preschool and child care directory includes suggestions of what to look for in a child care facility. If you are looking for a preschool and child care facility, I hope you will take this opportunity on February the 11th to meet the many preschoolers provided in your community who are dedicated to providing your children with a quality environment to grow and to learn in. So save the date, February the 11th, 2014, from 4 to 7, and come visit the Orion Township Library and meet your next preschool provider. Oh, before I forget, child care will be provided by Pee Wee Patch, and door prizes will be given out that night. I look forward to seeing you on February the 11th. Thank you. Can't make it to the Five or Five food drive? Drop off early at Hollywood Market. Accepting canned goods and non-perishables. We want a habitat home. I love working on my habitat home. Soy dueño de una casa de habitat. My neighbor is a habitat homeowner. Being a habitat homeowner has changed our lives. My mortgage payment for Habitat is less than what I paid for rent. Habitat for Humanity of Oakland County currently has homes available with mortgage payments lower than most rent payments. If you or someone you know needs decent and affordable housing, call 248-338-1843 or visit our website at habitatoakland.org. Welcome back to this episode of Orient at your library. Next up, we'll listen to Miss Kristen talk to us a little bit more about the Battle of the Books for 2014. Hi, I'm Miss Kristen, and I want to tell you about our Battle of the Books program at the Orion Library. Every year, our library hosts a reading competition for fifth graders. 
fifth graders get in teams of three, four, or five students from Lake Orion, and they form a team. They choose their own team name, their own team costume, and in November of every year, we unveil the Battle of the Books list. All the fifth graders read the same list of books chosen specifically by the librarians. We choose picture books, we choose chapter books, we have fiction, we have nonfiction, we have graphic novels, we have something for everyone. These teams of fifth graders study these books from November until March. In March, all the fifth grade teams come together at the Scripps Middle School Gymnasium for a huge reading competition that we host quiz style. The teams gather in the gymnasium and we ask those fifth graders 50 of the toughest questions we can think of about the books they've read. Teams work together to give the correct title and author of each book. After the battle is over, we hold a huge award ceremony, and this is always held at the Lake Orion High School Auditorium. All the fifth graders who participated in Battle of Books come to the auditorium dressed in costume. Everyone receives a participation award, and we award special prizes to the top three teams. Also, one of the great perks of Battle of the Books is that the students get to meet one of the authors or illustrators of the books that they've studied. This year, the Battle of the Books will be held on March 15th at 10 a.m. in the Scripps Middle School Gymnasium. The award ceremony will be held on March 18th at 6.30 at the Lake Orion High School Auditorium. And this year, our students get to meet Rick Leader, who is the photographer illustrator of one of our books called Step Gently Out. If you're a fifth grader and you're interested in Battle of the Books, all you need to do to sign up is go to our website, orionlibrary.org, and click on the Youth Services page. You can sign up right online, and there's still time to join Battle of the Books for 2014. We're here at Scalneck Ford, early drop-off point for donations. Make sure you peel rubber into the 5 or 5 food drive on February 8th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Hello, I'm Mike Bouchard, the Oakland County Sheriff. There's a big problem that faces all the communities in America today, and that's abuse of legitimate prescription drugs. Sometimes they're left in the home when a loved one passes away, or they're in the medicine cabinet for someone else, and a youngster in the home steals it and they abuse it. It's one of the fastest growing drug abuses that we see in our community and across the country. Secondly, we see these drugs oftentimes when they're no longer utilized being flushed down the drain, and we're seeing higher levels of residual pharmaceuticals in our waterways and our streams. So, to solve two problems with one effort, we partnered with Home Instead Senior Care to start a program called Operation Medicine Cabinet to get those drugs out of the homes, out of the hands of youngsters, and out of the waterway, and safely and environmentally destroy them. Learn more about the program at OperationMedicineCabinetMI.com and be part of the solution. Thank you. Welcome back to Orient at Your Library. Next up, we're going to take a look at some upcoming youth events that will be happening at your library. Hi, I'm Linda Panuto. I'm one of the youth librarians here at the Orion Township Public Library. I'm here today to tell you about some great new programs that we have starting. One of them is Rockin' Readers. Our Rockin' Readers program is designed for students in grades three to five. And if you want to become a Rockin' Reader, all you do is come into the library and pick up your button that says, I am a Rockin' Reader. After you have become a Rockin' Reader, you go home and you read your books, and then you are going to fill in a, your reading log. And after you've read seven books in one of the five genres, you can come in and get another button for that genre. And on the reading log, we want you to tell us a little bit about the book and what you liked about it or didn't like about it. And you can earn a button in adventure books, at mysteries, graphic novels, fantasy, or nonfiction, any one of those, or all of them. This program goes on year-round. There's no, it's totally open-ended, and you go at your own pace. 
Okay, another program that we have coming up is our Mud Agrees program. Actually, our Mud Club is going to be part of a national program, which is Mud Agrees at the library. The Mud Agrees program wants to focus on people learning about um, shelter dogs and particularly the mixed breed ones because a lot of people kind of lose track of those. They know about the, the very fancy breeds but they don't know about the mixed breeds and there are a lot of them that end up in the shelters. We're going to be doing different activities each month and you can join for any one of them or all of them. We'd love to have you. If you are a beginning reader and you want to be a doggone reader, you can do a doggone reader. You can come and read to Maggie and after you've read four books to Maggie or you've read to Maggie four different times, you can earn a free book. So there's lots of different ways that you can become a, a, a member of the Mutt Club. The University of Michigan Museum of Natural History is coming back to the library this year with more um, information and hands-on science for you to do. They're focusing this year on predators and prey, dinosaurs, big cats, even modern day predators and what they eat. And how do we know what they eat? Well, find out when you come to one of the workshops and they will give you some information, they will give you some hands-on science that you can do with your parent. This is a parent and child workshop, so you need to sign up for it together and it does require registration. Okay, I almost forgot to mention that you do need to register for the Mutt Club, the various Mutt Club programs that we have too, and obviously for Rock and Readers you can do that on your own and there's no registration required. Um, if you have any other questions, if there's anything I haven't said today, you can call the library at 248-693-3002. Also, I want to take this opportunity to thank the Friends of the Orient Township Public Library. It is the funding of the Friends of the Orient Township Library that make all three of the programs that I've talked to you about today possible. So thank you to the Friends and consider being a friend. Stop at the desk when you come in and we'll give you information how you too can become a friend of the Orient Library. Hi, I'm Abby and welcome to Orion at Your Library's Kids Corner. Today I'll be reviewing a book and also updating you about some youth programs going on at the Orion Township Public Library. If you need to get out of the house with your toddler, join us for Mother Goose and Preschool Pals. Mother Goose is when toddlers and parents share story time with music and movement. Mondays, from Mondays and Thursdays from 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Preschool Pals. Preschool Pals meets Mondays and Wednesdays from 11 a.m. to 11.35 a.m. Parents and preschoolers build vocabulary and listening skills with music, rhymes, and movement. For those of you who are looking for a challenge, come on out to Chess Club for K-5 students. All skill levels are welcome. Learn the rules of st and strategies of chess while meeting and socializing with your peers. Chess Club meets every Monday from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. For all you LEGO fans out there, come on out on the second Saturday of every month for LEGO at the library. Use your imagination with other LEGO fans from 10 a.m. until 11 a.m. There are only 25 seats available, so call today to get signed up at 248-693-3002. My book pick of the month is Legend by Marie Lu, published in 1984. It's the first volume in a trilogy of books. In this book, two very different personalities lead two very opposite lives. Fifteen-year-old Day lives among the streets as the most wanted criminal in all the sectors of the newly formed and separated United States of America, including his own. While on the other hand, fifteen-year-old June is, the, is in the best college of their, in their half of the U.S. with an army of her own and a loving brother. What could go wrong? Sure, these two lead separate lives, but one day, June's beloved brother dies after a hospital break-in, thanks to an unknown criminal, while all arrows point to Day. June's mission is to track him down and turn him in. In this book, author Marie Lu puts a futuristic twist on the present day with action, drama, and a shocking twist. This book really moved me, and it should for all middle school and high school students. If you want to read this book, head on down to the public library today. You can find out more information about my book pick and the other of the month and other ac library activities by calling the library at 
693-3000 or by visiting their website at www.orionlibrary.org. That's all for this edition of Kids Corner. I'm Abby and I'll see you next time. Well, that's it for this edition of Orion at Your Library. But quickly, before we go, I just want to remind everybody that the next Friends of the Library used book sale is coming up at the end of January. Be sure to join us on Tuesday night, January 28th, for our special preview night for members only of the Friends of the Library. But if you're not a member yet, you can come anyway and join the Friends organization right at the door. The book sale runs for the entire week all the way through Saturday, so please come out and join us. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Orient at Your Library. And don't forget to tune in again next time for another episode right here on ONTV.